channel this is randomly t and today i wanted to come on and i wanted to give a update on the lock and gel um before we get started please make sure you like comment and subscribe so i wanted to come on and give an update on this lock and gel um let me just say i absolutely love the lock in gel okay i don't plan on using anything else but i wanted to come on and get an update because i get questions from time to time you know is there build up is there itching um you know just wanting to know how it's going and i know sometimes when you do a review when you first get a product can be different you know a year later but i am happy to say that the lock-in gel is still doing me good okay so let me just say i've been using this for over i've been using this for two years okay um when i first you know <clears throat> excuse me when i first started my lock journey um, my lactician was using um, like a clear gel or whatever, and, and that was good. But y'all, this is better, okay? And this is clear as well. You can see it's clear. Okay, it is clear. And it reminds me of um, the Jam product, okay? Um, I personally have not had any buildup at all. Okay, um, any buildup that I may have in my hair, and I, I don't even want to call it buildup, but just naturally you get the dust in like the roots of your retwist. And I think a lot of people go through that. Um, dust and dirt, it just tends to collect there, but it's not the lock in gel. Okay, um, and I would say that that dust and and build up that I may have on my hair is just on the surface. It is not embedded in my locks. It's just like the natural dust. You know what I mean? Um, you would even have it if you kept French braids in your hair um, for a long time or, or box braids. It's just, I don't know, dust is just, it just collects, okay? So for me, there has been no build up, no build up, no itching. Now, Mind you, I use um, Suave Clinical Shampoo on my hair often, but ever so often, I will also go in with um, a Suave Shampoo, a clarifying shampoo, okay? Um, the clarifying shampoo, it gets out a lot of the buildup. So when people say they have buildup from different products, I, my first question is, how much are you using? Are you using it correctly? And how often are you washing your hair? Like, I'm deep cleaning my hair, so there's no room for buildup. Like, and I'm two years in right now. So I'm like, if I'm gonna see some product, I would um, I would see it by now using this product. Because like I said, I've been using it for two years. Um, there's no buildup in my locks. My locks have grown. Um, if you see my earlier videos, you can see my hair was like up to here. So all of this hair that you see down here was once retwisted, okay? It has had the lock and gel on it. And if I can get close up here, you'll see there's nothing, and I haven't washed my hair in a while, okay? Hold on the video, but I haven't washed my hair in a while, okay? It's been weeks. And so this isn't like freshly washed hair. This is, again, where lock and gel would have once been, and there's no build up there. So, like I say, I always just ask people, like, you're having build up, um, are you pairing it with another product? Um, how often are you washing your hair? I have no issues with this. Like, this is, this is the staple, that is the holy grail. Like, whoever's making this, I need them to continue making it. And I have backups, right? So yes, I love it. There's natural ingredients in here. I don't think it's 100% natural. Um, I'll list some of the ingredients. I've, I've done that in another video before, but I'm just happy to say that this right here, we're best friends. I love the lock in gel. Um, I have no itching, again, no buildup. And I even wanna even speak on like itching. Um, I think products work differently on different people's hair, duh, right? But I would look at the ingredients. You could be allergic to something in this if this is making your scalp itch. Cause I've even seen where someone had used this and said like their hair was itching like right away. But it's like, 
it's probably something in this product that's making your hair or make your scalp itch. You know what I mean? And it doesn't mean it's necessarily this product. If that same ingredient is in another product, it's probably going to make your hair itch as well. So I think it's good to even just know like what products irritate your scalp. I know me personally, if castor oil is in the beginning of a product, then that's probably not for me because I already know I'm going to get a flare up. So I don't have that with this pro with any of the products I use. I'm only using this in like MCT oil on my hair and water. So um, I don't know. I just needed to come on and do an update. My retwist lasts with this I, weeks and weeks. Okay, I'm I'm getting retwists every eight nine weeks at this point. Like I've even gone longer than that, and I feel like just you know as the weeks go by, my hair just looks better and better. Like it just really does. I'll show my roots here so you can see. And again, anything that you see could possibly be lint, <laughs> but it's on the surface. It's not like embedded in my, in my hair. It's, it's just not, it's not in, embedded. And I just needed to say that. So I absolutely still very much so love the product. Um, and I know a lot of other people, you know, they love the product as well. So this is my update two-year lock update with the lock in gel still doing me bomb um if you don't like to retwist um and use this product or to use products at all you know that's fine to each his own but i like it it works for me and my hair is is thriving um doing just fine with the lock in gel um no flaking no itching please make sure when you use any product that your hair is clean clean like clean clean because if it's not then you're probably just gonna get build up so lock and gel for the win okay for the win okay this is a 10 out of 10 so um yes that is the video today i do thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye for now <laughs>